assalamu alaikum students uh, we are doing new secondary mathematics 2 chapter 1 direct and inverse proportional exercise 1a question number 9 today we will attempt question number 9 and uh, let's start in question number 9 it is mentioned that for each of the following y is directly proportional to x y is directly proportional to x copy and complete the table the table which is given here is the values of x are given 4 20 24 and the values of y are given 6 9 and 11 you can see here in column 4 they have given the values of both x and y the value of x is given in this column 24 and value of x is also given which is 6 now y is directly proportional to x so the equation is y is equal to kx where k is constant first we will find out the value of k by using which the both and uh, to find out the value of k we need the values of both x and y which are given in column 3 in this table here so we will use these values to find the value of k for k the equation will be y uh, k is equal to y upon x the equation which we made was y is equal to k into x by moving this x to left hand side we find out the equation which is k is equal to y upon x so let's move by putting values of uh, y and x which are given in column 4 we will find out the value of k by putting the value of y which is given 6 and the value of x which is 24 we will get the value of k by dividing 6 to with 24 we will get uh, k is equal to 0 0.25 okay now let's move this is how we got the value of k which is 0 0.25 now we will use this value of k in the equation we already know the equation of k is y is equal to kx in column 5 they have already given the value of y which is 9 in table if we see the column 4 column 5 sorry in column 4 they have given the value of y which is 9 so we will use this value and the value of k to find out the value of x so the before we start we will make the equation of x the equation which we have already y is equal to kx by moving k x to the left hand side by moving k to the left hand side we get the equation of x which is x is equal to y upon k x is equal to y upon k now we will use this equation to find out the values of x and we will use this equation to find the out the value of y by putting 
values of x or y with k so let's move we know the value of y is 9 and the value of x is 0 0.25 we put in place of k and x their values and by dividing 9 with 0 0.25 the value of x we get which is 36 now moving to the next column and as table in table mentioned in column 6 in column 6 if you see the value of x is given 11 the value of x is so the value of y is 11 so we will put this value of y in the equation and again we will find out the value of x so by putting the value of x in the equation value of y is equal to 11 and k is equal to 0 0.5 again when we find out the value of x of column 6 which is 44 Okay, x is equal to 44 of column 6. Now further we move if we see in column 2. They have given the value of x which is 4. And uh, here we have to find out the value of y which is empty. So, by putting the value of x in the equation, which is y is equal to kx, this is the equation, when we put the value of k and x, we will get y is equal to 0 0.25 into 4, by multiplying 0 0.25 with 4 we get the value of y which is 1 okay the value of y is equal to 1 so we find out the values of x of column 5 column 6 column 5 we find out which is 36 the column 6 we find out which is 44 and the value of y of column 2 which is 1. Now we have to find the value of this column, column 3. Here they have given the value of x which is 20. 20 is given the value of x. So we will use this value of x and we will put this value of x in the equation and find out the values value of y so by putting this value of x in the equation which is y is equal to k x by putting value of k and x which is 20 we get by multiplying 0 0.25 with 20 we find out the value of y which is 5 after finding out these values we put in the table we get the values of x and y we've completed this table now so this was the first part of this question a part we have uh, completed this table now moving towards the B part. In B part they have given another table and in this table they have given the both values in column 2. In column 2 they have given the values of x and y both. So we will again use these two values to find out the value of k then we will put the value of k and the values of uh, x 
and values of x and y and we will find the values of x and y by using which are empty we will find out these values of these empty places okay let's move y is equal to kx to find out the value of k we have the equation now k is equal to y x so we will both the values we will put both the values of x and y x and y so by putting these values 3.6 and 3 we get the value of k which is 12 by dividing 3.6 with 3 we get the value of k now moving towards the fifth column where the value of y is given 9.6 the value of y is given in column 5 which is 9.6 now we will put this uh, value of y in the equation and find out the value of k the equation for the k is x the value for, uh, the equation for the x is x is equal to y upon k so let's by moving by putting these values of uh, k and y the value of y which is given 9.6 and the value of k which we have already find out was 1.2 by putting these two values we find out the value of x which is 8 the value of x is 8 now now moving towards the column 6 the value of uh, y is given in column 6 y is equal to 11.4 by putting the value of y in the equation which is x is equal to y upon k by putting these two values we get x is equal to 11.5 divided by 1.2 and when we divide 11.5 with 1.2 the value of x we get is 9.5 so this is how we find out the value of x and uh, now if we see in column 2 the value of x is equal to 2 in column 2 the value of x is given here we have to find out the value of y so we will use the equation y is equal to kx so by putting the values of uh, k and x we get y is equal to 1.2 multiplied by 2 by multiplying 1.2 with 2 we get the value of y which is 2.4 now moving further the value of x is 5.5 in column 4 in column 4 they have given the value of x which is 5.5 we will put the value of x 5.5 in the equation y is equal to ky so y is equal to ky we will put the value of x and the value of k we will find out the value of y so we put here the value of values of k and x y is equal to 1.2 into 5.5 we find when by multiplying 1.2 with 5.5 we get the value of y which is 6.6 .6. so this is how we get the values of x and y by using the value of k first of all we find the value of k then by using that value of k putting in the equations we find out the values of y and x and then we fill this table we completed this table and 
we find out the values of x and y by using equations that's all from now and if you have any query you can uh, uh, ask me you can comment me and i have given my phone number in my on my desktop you can uh, contact me even by using that whatsapp number and uh, from now that's all please subscribe my channel and uh, click the bell icon thank you